Hello fellow cohorts. Last time I was just doing things and oh so yeah, getting killed by a uh, freaking just a regular chieftain out of nowhere. Um uh, bandit chieftain. Uh chief. And um I don't know why, but he kept killing me and like this like really heavy attack that does this like automatic you're dead. You're dead. Nah. Uh, kinda like this guy. But he's just a bandit thug, so I shouldn't have to worry about him. Nah. Uh, I did a little too late. I fought worse than you. I fought worse than your mom. Do it! I dare you! Ah, uh, crap! I don't have any. I really gotta upgrade my stamina. Yeah! Stomach. I mean, sword and stomach. I was about to say stomach and sword. That would be a little awkward. But yay! I killed them all. Now I can actually join the Legion. Or the Imperials. I can finally join. I'm one of something. Finally. It's been a while. Okay. I think. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Is there someone still alive? Oh, I guess there is. Never mind. People are still alive. And I shall kill them. With my trusty sword. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 that can't hurt me anymore, huh? Yeah, you're dead now. See, got some steel arrows. That would be nice. Well, at least as nice as what I can get for now. Where is he? Where is he? I don't. I'm trying to figure out where he is. He was just shooting arrows at me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> really gonna shoot an arrow? Are you gonna shoot a bow and arrow that close to me? Nice job, dude. Nice job. Lauren's doing something in the background. Okay, well now that I did that, I think it can actually fast travel. <laughs> I don't think I actually have to run all the way over there, which would be nice. Yep, I can fast travel. Sweet! It's been a long road. I'm trying to figure out what helmet that is. Looks like a Trojan helm. Trojan helmet. Alright, now that I'm back in solitude, I shall turn this quest, call it a day, and then goof off. Oh, sh shut it, lizard boy. Get me in. Uh, really need to get me an elven sword. Tell me I'm again still stuck why I'm on wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. I don't abide fancy. Stop words. talking. Ulfric gets his hand oh on the God, too many people it talking. It won't be a fairy tale. It'll Wait, be a. I, 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 Welcome back, talk soldier. You. I'm glad you Hello. made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. Thank you. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Yay. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. That'd be nice. All right. So. Make it. Let's do change it. Change your mind. 
decided you wanted to soldier for the Empire after all. Right, actually, I'm not sure. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll take the oath. <laughs> well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. AKVG. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. To AKVG. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Subscribe. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Subscribe. Uh, hey. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legate Ricca has a special assignment for you. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing Stop after talking. a fairy Welcome to the Legion. Welcome talking. to the Legion, Aux Ulfric's right-hand man. We're going to make sure the rest like of my men are already like assembling that. outside Corvin. All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. What's the jagged crown? A legendary crown dating back to King Harald's time or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Hmm. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. I bet it would, with that badass crown. Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Lushan campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. Okay, why do you fight for the Empire? I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires, and I followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. Hmm, don't stern clo cloaks call themselves sons and daughters of Skyrim? I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. <laughs> Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving eagle maniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his storm cloaks are deluding storm themselves. Cloaks. If there's Cloak any hope cloak. of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. All right. And do you consider the Thalmor enemies? I consider this conversation over. Aww. If Ulfric gets Shut his hands on the crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. All Don't right. you Nords put any stop I'm gone. Oh man, I am tired. I didn't really even do much today except for probably weightlifting and blah. Woke up early. Such. Yeah, I also did two peak plays before this. One was really short, and the other one was like kind of short, but it was dumb. <laughs> I'm telling you, I heard it. Yeah, it was like SSX and binary domain, and uh, both of them didn't really go too well. But at the same time, it's like it didn't need to because yeah, like the SSX demo was just eh. Like they did like I the SS, SX the gameplay itself was fun, but the demo didn't really give me much option to actually enjoy SSX the way it should be. So I just decided it's like okay, well it's done here. <laughs> and um, let's see, yeah, binary domain did that with Lauren and um, 
It was like everything was pretty much like the peak play was good and all that, but uh, it's time to go. Ah, dang it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the peak play was good, but the game wasn't, you know, it was better than what I thought it would be, but not much of a improvement of what I thought the game would be. So, yeah, I didn't really recommend it buy. Or or rent. <laughs> or you can rent it, see if you like that game. See if you're a Sega fan, I guess you could probably check it out. But um yeah. I see you guys a little bit later, but first click on top right to watch the next episode. And um if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.